my dear friends here today i'm going to show you that how can you uh, open a fixed deposit account at the axis bank online sitting at your home without reaching the bank physically so there are a few steps that you need to follow to open a fixed deposit account online sitting at your home at the axis bank so uh, if you have your bank account in any other bank then uh, almost uh, you have to follow the same steps to open a fixed deposit account in all bank both in private and public bank uh, the options are available in internet banking you can open a fixed deposit account online sitting at your home you need not require to reach the bank uh, physically so let us start uh, so the first thing you have to do that is you need to have the internet banking facility if you have the internet banking facility using your credential just you have to do the login uh, after doing the login you will uh, see the home page so you can see i have my bank account with the axis bank so i have done the login and this is the home page you can see so i will just go to this option so you can see at the left side i have got the vertical uh, menu bar so this is a vertical menu bar i have got at uh, the left side now i will go and click this fd fd slash rd so if i have to make fd account or the rd account i will go to this option now you can see now after i clicked to the option uh, i will see this uh, interface so this interface will appear right now here i'm going to do the fd so i will click over here right so the minimum uh, if you will uh, be doing that is uh, 5000 rupees so below 5000 rupees you are not allowed to do the fixed deposit in axis bank in other bank this figure may vary so in some other bank you might be saying that 1000 rupees uh, will be the minimum amount of which you can do a fixed deposit but in axis bank it is a little bit higher where the minimum amount that you can do or you can save in a fixed deposit account that is 5000 rupees so you can see it is written open FT and save a minimum of 5000 rupees and you can see the minimum number of days that you have to keep the money at least for that is a uh, seven days so less than seven days you can't keep this money so minimum days that you have to keep this money that is uh, for seven days uh, the maximum is 10 years seven days to 10 years so i will uh, click this fd option now once i have clicked to the fd option uh, you can see uh, it will be shown like this now i want to open a fd so i will go and click here open fd now you can see this interface will appear so once uh, i have seen this interface so i will write here you can see minimum fd amount is 5000 so i have written 5000 so now you can see ac account to be debited so which account will be debited so 5000 rupees that is available in my savings account so this is my savings account from my savings account uh, some money will be debited the amount will be 5000 5000 rupees will be debited from my savings account and you can see for how many days i am going to do this fix deposit so i will be doing this fixed deposit only for seven days so here i have written zero seven right so only for seven days i'm going to uh, do this fixed deposit now interest payable so when will i receive the interest will i receive the interest quarterly monthly or on maturity so i have clicked i will receive the interest on maturity so here i have clicked this option why uh, i will receive the interest at the maturity because i have done it only for seven days so what limits after three months so i'm not uh, done a fd for a very long period just uh, for seven days period I have done the fd so this uh, two of sign will be not be applicable quarterly option and monthly option will not be applicable only this option will be applicable for uh, these days that is seven days right that is on maturity now maturity instruction uh, maturity instruction that is reinvest what does it mean reinvest mean after the maturity when this particular fd that is after seven days it will be mature so what will happen that time after maturity if you click this reinvest that time again the same amount will go and it will be reinvest it will be reinvested again in a form of fd again in a form of fd the money will be reinvested and what does it mean this option means close fd and 
credit to my savings account so i have selected this particular option that means after seven days this five thousand rupees fd will be closed and automatically the money will be again credited to my savings account that is this account now i will go and click this option calculate maturity amount how much money will i going to get after the maturity so you can see five thousand rupees was the principal amount period is just seven days and at the maturity i will be getting only five thousand and three rupees only three rupees interest that i will be getting because i have done the fd only for seven days amount is also not very much that is five thousand and interest will be given to me that is three point five zero because uh, for seven days only this much interest will be payable to me if i do the fd for a longer period of time let's say uh, one year or more then i would have got uh, some higher interest rate but only for seven days this interest will be applicable now you can see the uh, maturity instruction close fd and credit to my savings account so i have already selected the maturity instruction that the after the seven days the fd will be closed and the account and the money will be created to my savings account now you can see interest payable on maturity so okay so everything has been set over here now you can see uh, i have not set any nominee no nominee in case if you want to have a nominee there are some options so form savings account so some nominee you already have registered uh, in the savings account right most of uh, account holder they do have a nominee which they already have been registered in the savings account so if you select this option what will happen from the savings account the same nominee will get registered for the fixed deposit account in case you want to make a new nominee you can go to uh, this option select this option that is new nominee so after selecting this option you will get some blank field you have to write the nominee name right so this is how you can proceed so after uh, everything you can just uh, select this agree that is you are agreeing the terms and conditions so in my case i have not selected any nominee so everything is quite okay and set well so you can see i have agreed uh, to the term and condition of the axis bank now i will going to click the uh, confirmation button so i have confirmed now after i have done the confirmation what will happen the you you have opened a fixed deposit account and this is my account number so i have successfully created uh, this fixed deposit online at the axis bank without reaching the bank physically i hope my dear friend this video will be helpful to you if you like this video please click the like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel and please 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 share this video with a friend now one thing i will show you again you can see so uh, i have done the fd successfully so in in my dashboard you can see uh, this fd account number is showing this is the fd account number oh uh, i've got the fd of 5000 rupees current amount is 5000 mature amount is uh, 5003 rupees this is the interest rate and at this particular date type d will get mature so everything is set i think uh, i i uh, i have successfully made you understand how you can uh, open your own fd account <coughs> so please subscribe the channel please 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 uh, subscribe my channel and support me